It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we have a single barrel before us, but it's something a little new and different. That's right. It's Jim Beam Single Barrel. D Sorry, can you say that again? It's Jim Beam Single Barrel. You talking about this? No, that was Jim Beam Single Barrel. Now it's this? This is Jim Beam Single Barrel. Or they're both? 2020 version. I don't know. No one knows. I can't. We don't really we, know. we tried to find. We tried to find out. I don't know. This is, you know, the tried and true, I It guess. was Jim Beam Single Barrel. Uh, 95 proof Jim Beam Single Barrel. Mm -hmm. um, also, I think more expensive, closer to like, I think it was a, yeah, it wasn't in our 6430 because no. I think it was, it was just a above. little bit above. This guy, 108 proof, Ooh. $25. What? At least where we bought it. Now I see online. Where we come from. Where we come from. And in in these parts. But so the thing, the interesting thing is, is when you were doing some research on this, you came across a bottle that looked somewhat like this, but was 95 proof. It had this new look. Yes. Look, tone, feel, if you will. <laughs> well, um, it was on the Jim Beam website, so I'll just throw up a screen grab of it right here. As you can see, it sort of looks like this bottle, but almost like squattier, not quite, but it's got that 95 proof where this- It's like this one and that one had a baby. Says 108. But when you click on the click here to buy on the Jim Beam website, it takes you to reserve bar, which then has a picture of this bottle. So we don't know what's and on, going on. on there, it's $40. So our $25 was, uh, a big box store in, in Kentucky. We don't say we don't say the name. They're not giving us money, so. Um, but we shot say. We shot. We shot. <laughs> watching. <laughs> we watch, shot tell. Watching too much Schitt's Creek. Um, Moira, the old, the yesteryear was the a yesteryear uh, was a cork. We're to a screw top here. Well, we've gone down in price, so. But we've gone up in proof. Does now, it, have we gone down in quality? I guess we'll find out. Tune in tonight at eleven. Or like. Or right now. I meant 11 seconds from now. Oh, okay. Nice and screwy. Thank you. It's like Pavlov's dog. You hear the glug, 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 and you're like, that sounds nice. <laughs> I can almost taste it. Why is my mouth watering? I must have a problem. Less than 1% of barrels are hand selected by our expert distillers to become Jim Beam single barrel bourbon. So there you go. And this particular one, if you have it at home, is uh, 0000. zero, zero, zero Two seven zero three four. What are the? What's the likelihood of that? Not, not likely. much, right? Uh, a little bit of something like. It's a weird citrus ooh, like clove. Like a clementine. Clementine. Like oh. if you know when you're peeling those little, those little easy to peel. Uh, Cuties. Yeah, kid proof ones. Mm-hmm. That smell, but it's, also a little clovey. Yeah, like a citrus clove, clementine clove. <laughs> Sounds like a stripper name. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Clementine Clove. To the stage. Mm, yeah, that's really it. It's, it's a little sweet. Well, I'm gonna like a little bit of salted caramel. Mm, it's caramely. I want to sip. All right, let's go in. I think you get a bit of that. Whoa! It's a quite quite a bit of char on There's there. There's a rush. A rush of char. Um, and I think you get a little hint of that signature Jim Beam nuttiness. Yes. I got a nice little rush of heat there. And I think it, it finishes like a 108, but I don't know if the front of the palette is like 108. I feel like it's traveling down into the Kentucky Hug area already. It's just traveling. It's traveling. Not a super long finish. I'm ready to, to go back for, for another, as you already as, have. Okay. Uh, I would say there's not a ton of depth to it. Like it's that char, a little bit of nutty, traditional, you know, a little bit of vanilla note. And like you said, the finish isn't, the heat stays, Ooh. but the finish is like kind of shortish, but. I'm like what's happening in the in the middle though. In there, the middle. There's like this little onslaught of building heat on the front to middle part of the tongue. Um, that's like this caramel type of clove, spicy, like kind of like what was on the nose mm -hmm. that I'm liking. It's nice. It hangs around more on the tongue than anywhere else in the mouth, I feel like. Yes. <laughs> I know that didn't sound... It makes sense. Your tongue's in your mouth. I know, but... Mm. <laughs> you know, it can hang around more... On your side cheeks. On your side cheeks. 
uh, in the back part, the back palate, the esophagus. Mmm. Um, Appetizing. Let's just name anatomy for you. Mandible. Mandible. Or at least that's... I thought well, mandible's the, the root. The, see that? Yeah. The, the kid on in the uh, Encyclopedia Britannica commercials, if you remember those in the 90s, this dorky looking kid, he was like, huh, I always wonder where my mandibula was. To find out how you... Look at this. I always wonder where my mandibula was. Mm-hmm. Now he might have been meaning inside where you couldn't see, but he was always like, my mandibula. This is your jaw, right? <sighs> He's like, uh, anatomy, no. Yeah. What are we doing at school today? We I always wonder where my mandibula was. Um, I like it. Especially at twenty five dollars mm -hmm. for what a one hundred eight proof. I mean, it it's a solid Jim Beam product. It is, and it's um because I know people will be wanting to know this. Is it closer to um, a Knob Creek at all? Knob Creek small batch at one hundred proof? Mm, no, not really. No. No, it's well. It, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like talking, and it's it's kind of it picks up some heat. It does. Right? Pick, it has some abrasive heat on. It. I'll 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 say that. No, it's not close to that Knob Creek small At least batch I don't profile. Think so. It's more like your Jim Beam bonded, I think, your yeah. distiller's cut mm -hmm. turned up yep. uh, a little bit. I, I am really liking what's happening here. Right? That's really nice. I think you're literally getting the bang for your buck. Y you definitely are. Um, this is better than any, you know, is it better than anything that says Jim Beam on it? You know, minus like Masterpiece or anything crazy expensive. Um, well, I craft have series to or anything like that. Do a Jim Beam flight in mm -hmm. order to tell you that. Well, Jen. maybe we should. Well, maybe we should. I think that's an idea. Think of it. This is one point higher, higher than Baker's. Baker's drinks hotter, in my opinion. It's 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 a um, fuller. It's fuller and it's a richer. Fuller drink. I think that's why it registers to me yeah. as more substantial. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? Uh huh. Um, I think I'm spoiled by those things. And so that's why this being not very complex and not Ooh. super rich, like it's that, those couple of notes that we described before, that char, that vanilla, um, mm. that little bit of nuttiness. I'm missing mm. the complexity. It's great for the price, but I'm spoiled. And I, I want the richness and the fullness, so. We, uh, we forgot to mention, this is non-chill filtered. And that is important. Yeah. Because why? Well, you want to keep those fatty acids we in there. We want those fatty acids. Give me them fats. Means this will become cloudy if you put uh, cold water or an ice cube in it. Mm -hmm. Or if you stick it in like your freezer or something. It can kind of. It look can get little, all cloudy. A little cloudy, but that's just nature of the beast when you're over a certain proof. Yeah, I still love that description of like if you make like home style green beans with the butter and like the bacon fat, and they're so like creamy and delicious when you eat them. You know, they're buttery, right? It's great. And then you put them in the fridge and the next day all the fat's at the top and it's like, are you gonna put them back in a pan and stir that up and let that, you know, uh, whatever, melt back out? Yeah. Or are you gonna scrape it off and throw it in the trash? Don't throw it in the trash, that's the flavor. That's the flavor saver. And I really liked that description once about, I heard that and I cannot remember where, I wish I could remember, mm. um, about chill filtering. Yeah. You know, I'm getting a little bit of Maybe it's spearmint now. It's a little spearminty. Or I think the clove is just kind of sort of morphed. Was I supposed to me. save this to put water in it? You know what? I don't want to. Let's not. I don't think it needs it. Well, so here's the thing. Our, our eyedropper fell on the floor last oh, uncorking, yeah. and I just now picked it up. Oh, so we're not doing that. I was um, on Perry's podcast. This is my bourbon podcast. Um, a while ago, and he had just purchased this. It wasn't in our area. He had traveled uh, a little bit. Traveled uh, far and wide. <laughs> and found it there. And we uh, reviewed it on his podcast. And I have to tell you, Sarah, you know, these are single barrels. So they are like, as it says right here on the back, snowflakes. So they can... It says that? Yeah, I think so. This is a snowflake? This is a snowflake. I think it says it. Or maybe it was on the website. I don't remember. But somewhere it's like, it's a snowflake. You know, each... Single oh. barrel bottle. Does it say it? And no, but it does have a description about what um, non-chill non filtering, filtering means. <laughs> we've, we've moved past we've moved it. Past. But anyway, I remember liking his, like I was really 
surprised by it. Uh, so I was really anxious for you to try this one because I was like, I remember really liking that bottle of his. I feel like I might like that bottle a tad bit better, better than, than, this one? than this one. Of course, we had been drinking up until that point, and this one, this was the first thing we had, so there's different there's different difference. factors. Yeah. But um, I would also like to see what happens when this yeah. opens up and gets, gets some air. Don't uh, get me wrong, I like it. Yeah, I like it a lot too. It just, there are things about it that are reminding me of other Jim Beam products, and I find myself being like, I like it, but I want that. <laughs> like, where's the bookers? <laughs> oh. <laughs> where's the bakers? It's like a little whisper of a bookers or a bakers and or a knob creek. It's making me be like, I like you, but where, where's that bottle of bookers? <laughs> well, all you gotta do is plop down more money and you have it. You that's know, true. that's that's obviously uh, a trade off. This isn't for your knob creek or your bookers or your bakers customer. This is for your upper end Jim Beam. That's even true. Even at $25. Yep. Um, I think it's a good pick. Yeah. Pick up. $108. No. It's $108, folks. What do you think? Yay? That's not. Hey? No. Mm -mm. 108 not. proof, single barrel, not chill filtered. Uh, those are three pretty desirable things right there. Those things are nice. Um, and for 25 bucks. Is what we got it for. Is what we got it for. For 25 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Got to give it the recommend. Um, if you are a fan of the higher proof things that say Jim Beam on them, like Bonded or Distiller's Cut, I would say this this one's for you. You should definitely, I think, check it out, try it out, see how you like it. Again, single barrel. So just like any single barrel out there, results may vary. There's an asterisk. Mileage may vary, but um, I think it's always going to be, you know, like I said, in that 1%. That could still be thousands upon thousands upon thousands of barrels, but... Right. We have no visibility into what they produce every year. <laughs> yeah. A lot, though. So we don't know. So, yeah. So I would uh, I would recommend. I would buy this. Uh, you know what else would I, I would recommend? To subscribe to our channel? Yeah. Well, yes. That comes later. I would say uh, I would recommend whiskeyambitions.com. Oh, yeah. It's our home on the internet where you can get a t-shirt such as this, Glenn Cairns, uh, Pint glasses, water glasses like this, Ooh, that uh, makes me rocks glasses, challenge coins, and more always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron. It's patreon.com slash it's bourbonite and join our community and conversation for as little as one buck a month. That's we right. do patron only podcasts and other fun things. We're ramping that up, working on that all yeah. the time. Back to after this episode, we're going to re record a uh, after the episode we are. episode, which is just a little uh, Patreon thing that we do. Like a, little a little bonus. After the show talk show type of... Talking ta bourbon. Talking bourbon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So there you go. Um, now it's the part where we say, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos that you can watch right down here. We hope to see you over there in those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink more bourbon.